what's your comedic opinion on on what what went down on that boat, man? <laughs> Man, best of the best entertainment presents your feature presentation. What up, Milwaukee? Yo, what's going down? It's your boy, Sir Quinn, from Best of the Best TV, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global. Up and coming and established artist. Today, we got a hilarious comedian, to be special <laughs> star, actor, DJ, host. Mr. He does everything but crack. That's right. I love it. Yes, <laughs> Thank sir. you for coming to the show, man. man thanks for having yeah, me, man. Formally introduce yourself. Man, man. listen, man. I'm D Rock, man. That's all, man. Yeah. I do a little bit of everything. I try not to put a title on it. Everybody be like, that's DJ D Rock. Nah, right. I do more than DJing. That's right. comedian D Rock. Nah, I do more than that. Right. I couldn't call myself D Rock the Entertainer because Cedric got it off. <laughs> so, so I'm just D Rock. Just D Rock, man. D -Rock, man. Yes, man, we see yes, you sir. all across the band. You doing? You running the? Uh, so how you get the name D Rock, man? Man, the name actually, from? dude. So so I used to be called. They used to call me D Love in high school. Oh, thought I was man. a lover. Right? <laughs> thought I was a lover boy in high school. But now nah, it actually came from my middle name, which is D Shine, and I'm from Little Rock. But ain't nothing little about me wow. so i dropped a little off and came up with d rock and it's been like that since i was a teenager. that's golden man that's really, good i always really. like how people come up with their names because you would never just like look at them and be like bro like that's that's how you came up with exactly. that name like, yeah wow, no, it's something wow. original man and like i said i'm always giving love to my birthplace which is little rock arkansas by way of pine bluff and people still down there that's where i was born and pretty much raised until i moved here in milwaukee straight up straight up sure. so we see the brand man k hold on <laughs> hold on pronounce it for me man it's k-a-s-o-y-f a lot of people try to pronounce it it's not a pronunciation correct it's, it's abbreviation it's an abbreviation it's okay. abbreviation so it's k-a-s-o-y-f that's keep a smile on your face oh man yes, that is, that's, that's golden man and yes, that's sir. golden especially in your expertise man because you keep us like we got man. to man we got to man. We, we so mad about everything nowadays. People are so upset. It's so much going on in this world, man. But why not smile through it? You know what I mean? So right. That's what I've been doing, man. Right. right. What's your comedic opinion on, on what, what went down on that boat, man? Man. <laughs> I, I mean, I just watched it. I hate, I'm, can I be honest, man? I hate to see people fighting. Oh, right. I hate to see people fighting, man. Um, but sometimes, man, it's, it's to that. It looked like that became a boiling point, man. Yeah, yeah. That became a boiling point, man. And dude couldn't take it no more. I'm just tripping that he took the hat off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I had to try that, man. That, that, that's the wild right there. They call it the bad signal, that, man. <laughs> that was it. But I mean, yeah, it's just you, you get to these points, man. People just think they can do any and say anything to you and do anything to you they want to. And I think it just became to a boiling point, man. He just let him have it. Right. I mean? it was, and it was good that we weren't fighting each other. Man, too, man. that part. Yeah. That part. <laughs> but then I look at it at the other side, too. I always say, regardless if you're black or white, man, we all still people. we human race. Put it there, right? And we, I got and we, the hand yeah, God yeah, on yeah, we, we're a human race, man. And we fighting each other about what? Like, for real, that could have been talked out. Yeah, you know what it, I mean? it definitely could I mean, could've. don't get me wrong. Boxers are made to fight. You you know, UFC, they made to fight, but we ain't made to be just fighting and hitting and punching on one another. Right. Man. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, it's just a hard feeling to give. Um, you know, I, I just don't have that vibe in me, you know, right. um, that, that, that fighting vibe, even though I did box back in the day. Um, man, what don't you, what don't you do, man? man? <laughs> hey, man the King Center made us box, man, right. back in the day, yeah, man, when facts. I was at Apollo Village when we first moved here to Milwaukee, man, you had to learn how to fight. You just had to learn, oh, but, uh, but I also learned um, you you have to know how to fight, but you also learn have to learn how to conflict resolution, that like conflict mm. resolute. So First and you, you can't be fighting everybody, man. Because when I seen Mike Tyson get knocked out, oh yeah, <laughs> that's the toughest man I ever met. In my so when he got knocked out, I'm like anybody can yeah, lose. Back, back. You know what I'm saying? So it, I mean, can anybody talk their way out of it? Yeah, that's that, me. That's, that's I'm talking a real my way man. out of it, man. Yeah. And, that, and that's that's what I'm telling these teens now. I tell my kids that. You know, you ain't got to, the, the toughest, biggest, baddest person, man, is the person that's 80, 90 years old. They got grandkids around them, man. Correct. And that's the big talk, man. So, yeah, that's that's what I've been trying to do my whole life, man. Stop from fighting. But it is, it gets to, like I said, it gets to that point where sometimes you have to. I yeah, you it. have to. Man, in case y'all just now tapping in, man, we with D-Rock, man, the finest, man. 
Yes, I will sir. say Milwaukee's best, but we gonna touch on that uh, when we oh, come yeah. back, y'all. Y'all, y'all stay we'll tuned in. Yeah. For fresh haircuts, fades, and shaves with a smile, contact Donnie D Styles, located inside Salon Solo at 6329 West Greenfield Avenue in beautiful West Dallas, Wisconsin. Book your haircut experience on the Cut app today, or call 414-687-3940. Remember, for fresh haircuts. Cuts, fades, and shaves with a smile. Contact Donnie D. Styles. See you soon. is Wine Crystal here with Best of the Best TV, where we interview entrepreneurs who've shown consistent dedication to their work. We assist others in marketing by exposing you on all successful platforms and your favorite podcast apps, as well as a special segment titled Artist of the Month, where we honor artist achievements. Contact our host, Sir Quinn Gladney, by visiting bestofthebesttv.com or email 414liftoff at gmail.com today. So yeah, yeah, man, y'all, y'all catch y'all just now tapping in. We with D Rock, man. Uh, so you got a problem with with people say it's Milwaukee's own. So like, <laughs> yeah, man, I, you you kind of give a disrespect to where I was born and raised, right? And I like I said, I was born in Little Rock, Arkansas, raised in Pine Bluff. I came to Milwaukee because my dad my dad had a job. From what I was told, he had a job and working in corrections. And then all of a sudden, you know, becoming D Rock, everybody always say Milwaukee's on, Milwaukee's on. I'm like, hold on, bro. I was like, gonna say Milwaukee it is like really a title they put on yeah, it for yeah, you. Yeah, it's like Milwaukee really didn't give me what I got. Wow. It gave me a lot, but it didn't give me what I got. And then, and then on the other hand, I mean, I love Milwaukee. Don't get me wrong, man. I'm a Bucks fan for life. I love Milwaukee, but Milwaukee will turn on you, bro. Yeah, Milwaukee yeah. will turn on yeah. you. And if you ain't that big caliber person, yeah. Milwaukee will look you in your face like, man, we don't know yeah. you. Yeah, especially you know especially if you even had a title, Milwaukee's on there. Be there like, oh, you go, man. like, yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> we go to other, I go to other cities all the time, man, and they be like, Milwaukee. Yeah. You talking about the Jeffrey Dahmer dude? <laughs> and I'm like, dude, please don't say that name. It's other people came from Milwaukee other than dude. So, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> Sam Milwaukee's own kind of, you know, I always correct people and tell them, hey, I'm from Little Rock. I'm from Pine Bluff. But I love Milwaukee, man. Like I said, I got love for it. I know all the streets been here most of my life. And uh, I got love for it, man. But then again, you know, you have to step back and look. Do Milwaukee got love for me? Correct. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I, again, I, I've been respected uh, anywhere I go. Um, but I, I do show it on my shoulder, you know. Hey, Milwaukee all day. Yeah, that's where when I somebody live. Somebody say Milwaukee on. I'm like, hold on, bro. Oh, do you really man. know me? That's like saying you, you know got a saying? whole different mama, exactly. like, bro. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's like, like saying that, 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 this, this ain't my real cousin. Yeah, like, don't do that, you know what I mean? Like I got real family <laughs> down south. You know what I'm saying? But I love. Don't get me wrong. It's not a disrespect. Yeah. It's not a disrespect. It's, it's quite I disrespectful to it, say Milwaukee on to you. Exactly. Yeah. It's disrespectful to um, tell somebody when you don't know. You, and then you say Milwaukee's on. And that's people that's just been saying it. It's just getting to the routine yeah. of just saying Milwaukee's on, Milwaukee's on. Yeah. They say Chicago on. Yeah. A couple people ain't even from Chicago. Right. You know, you know, it's almost Atlanta, to the point everybody. where you got to take it on the chin. Like. There you go. There you go. So I take it with a grain of salt, you know, but I, I do correct people when I have to. Yeah. Because letting people know where I'm from, Little Rock, is very important to me, man. Hey, that would be funny for your set jumping on stage like, uh, dude, I'm not from Milwaukee, bro. But you tried, though. <laughs> you tried. You tried. <laughs> and it's crazy because yeah. a lot of times, man, a lot of people, you know, they 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 say I'm from Chicago. And I'm like, no, nah, man, I'm not from. Yeah, it's crazy because you know a lot of Chicago comedians. We you know we work yeah. hand to hand with each other, and it's crazy because the Midwest just all of a sudden adapt you as thinking. Um, you from wherever the last comedian that was on stage yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. Like, I just you know, seen you like, with D-Ray too. Exactly, yeah, yeah. D-Ray, my boy. Yeah, you know facts. what I'm saying? A lot of those cats, I got discovered by a, a, a Chicago comic. Yeah. Um, But like I said, when people say it, you know, I, like I said, I take it with a grain of salt. I love it. I love right. respect. Just don't get the D-Rock wrong. We'll be good. Correct, correct. And we yeah. just seen the don't ban me, man, too. Oh, man. Man. I want to give you a congratulations. Man, thank that, you, man. brother. Thank you, man. That's big. Thank you, man. So, uh, thank you. So what's the most important thing uh, you want before you get off the stage? Man, to make people smile. 
to make people smile and forget about their problems, bro. That's right. that's the biggest thing. When people are in the audience, people come to laugh. They want to get rid of or get away from what they really dealing with, right? Correct. So my thing is, I got to make you laugh before I leave. Uh, and I want you to think about your life and what it really is. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people get so mm, mad and frustrated about mm, stuff that really don't, you know, really don't matter at the end of the day, man. Because if you really understand life man and i and i'm starting to learn it as i've been older if you really start under that understand life is more than just you know your negativity take some of the a lot of positive man out of your life whatever it is it could be worse you know a lot of people say that all the time it could be worse man but i gotta make people laugh i gotta make people understand that i'm funny they 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 life ain't as bad as they thought it was and it, and you know it'll be good after they leave the show man that's powerful, man. Yes, That's sir. powerful. I try to be, man. Wow. Thank you. Do you do you ever have like people in a crowd that you like, man, dude, ain't laughing, man. I'm going oh, and, I'm going right I'm away. Going. <laughs> right away. Right away. I actually got a joke, man. I, I attack them right away. Bro. Uh because you know, you want people to to bring them into the show. You want people to understand that it's my job to make you laugh. Right. And you I mean, hear, you, man. You, you, you hear, paid your you money. To laugh. You said that on your set too. Like, baby, you paid your money. You paid your money. You gotta laugh, bro. And, <laughs> and, and and that's what it's all about. If you think about my job as a comedian, um, the joker of the of the kingdom, uh, if the king and the queen sitting there and they need to be entertained, they call the joker. Yeah. And the joker had to come in and make them laugh. Right. And if he didn't make them laugh, off with your head. If you think about it like that, wow. so I gotta make you I laugh. Gotta I gotta, gotta bring laugh. you out of this negativity or whatever you're thinking about to make things better for you, and that's the comics' job, man. That's beautiful. Real that's beautiful. Talk. So we finna, get in the, we finna get in the mind of D Rock. <laughs> oh, all right. Wow. So, uh, cool, cool. so your top ten comics of all time, Ooh, dead or alive, man, man. dead or alive. Dead Let me tell alive. you, dun, man. Dun, dun. man, bro. <laughs> First of all, I gotta give a big shout out to Michael Collier. Oh, Michael Collier. A lot of people don't really know on. his name. A lot of people don't know his name, but he is the dude that's on um, Martin. He's Gina Boss on Martin. Uh, before that, he was on um, um, ah, it's a couple shows, but the uh, the 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 one thing that 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 stands out with Michael Collier is he was a homeless comic doing shows uh, on, on South Beach, and he used to make people laugh, and he'll put down a hat, and they'll put money in the hat, and then he won on Star Search. One, took half the money and gave it to the homeless. Oh, yeah. So man. this comedian, this comedian actually started my career through Damon Williams. Damon Williams from Chicago actually um, uh, introduced me to Michael Collier. Michael Collier gave me one of my first jokes, put me on stage right here at the Riverside, and I was doing shows around the country through Michael Collier. So he's wow. one of the top comedians. Bernie Mac, who my dude, that's, that's my dude right there. Bernie Mac, man, he, uh, when I first met him, I met him here in, in, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hold on, bro. Let me Chicago. touch your head, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, oh, sir. Oh, this man, up, man, man, Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac, oh, dude. And man. it was crazy, man. I, I went to take the picture, and the, the guy that took the picture, I don't know where he is to this day. And I'm 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 gonna follow it up with another story too yeah. uh, later on. But um, yeah, this dude took a picture of me and Bernie Mac, and also me and Dr. J. I do I cannot find that brother. Those two Dr. Pictures, J. Dr. J. Julius Irvin. He took the same photographer. I do not know where he at. He's still in the city, but I don't know where he is. He has those two pictures of Bernie Mac and me and another comic. So uh, I had a chance to introduce him. That's number two. Um, who else? Um, Got to give a big shout out to D. Ray Davis. Oh, Got to give a big shout out to Damon Williams. That's that's three, four. Yeah. Um, uh, another comic that I I, I just just uh, always looked up to was was the uh, the infamous Robin Harris. Uh, very funny brother, man. He one came up with Bebe Kids. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, Robin, Robin Harris, Harris yeah. Man, that's my dude. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? That's five. That's five. Oh my goodness, my goodness. I'm gonna leave some people out, but <laughs> gotta, gotta gotta say what's up to Richard Pryor, man. Richard, Rich, man. Rich, Rich is the man. Uh, Dave Chappelle. Jeez. Dave Chappelle for what he stands for. Yeah. Dave Chappelle stands Hands for nothing down. but laughter. Yep. He's there doing his thing. Got to give a, a, a shout out to my coworker. Uh, I always call him my coworker. I don't call him. I, I look up to him too, though. Kevin Hart. Uh, because of what he does. Yeah. Uh, Got to give it up to Eddie Murphy. Jeez. And then. That's uh, a struggle. All right, yeah, we got and one then, more. And then one more, man. I got to give it up to myself, man. Oh, yeah. You got to throw you in there. Yeah. Got to give it up to myself, man, because a lot of people don't understand, man, what I've been through and what I'm going through through this comedy game. Yeah. I'm learning a lot. 
And I'm also um, um, taking a, taking a lot with me. I'm putting a lot on my shoulders right. in the next couple of years. So I got to give myself a prop, yeah, you prop got one, you once got in a while, man. man. You, you, Not you saying probably... that that's the top 10. What? That's my top 10. What? You know what I mean? No, that's exactly. my we were just talking about behind the scenes, man. I was like, man, we we almost grew up together, man. Real Channel talk. 14 real... matter, yes, man. Sir. Like, yes, I was sir. behind the board watching you, yes, man, on sir. that sofa, yes, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's crazy, You got got to You got to remind me the name of the show. It was called Mix GTV. It was Mix GTV. Oh, my God. Yeah. Through uh, CYD, uh, Career Youth Development, Janetta Robertson, Charles Walton, all those cats, they, they actually put me in front of the camera, behind the camera, and made me want to go to MATC and, and get my degree in broadcasting. Didn't finish all the way, but right. I got enough credits, right? <laughs> I know what it is. That's I know, all I know it what takes. it looks like. You know, and, you know and, what the bigger and, picture is? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. And and, it, and it's not about where you it's not about where you at, it's about where you're from and how you represent where you're from. So that I get a, give a big shout out to CYD, Career Youth Development, yeah. Another Robertson, man. the whole crew, Butch, the whole. Now I love what them. What days, man? Love them, man. Jeez. Love them. Poe Davy, the whole day. Oh, I mean, come the awards. Remember the year? Oh, on, man. listen, man. Every year, man, I used to love, <laughs> love, love to be there, love to see it, man. Yes. And uh, Janetta lived her life long enough to help me, so I, I you know, I, I still cherish that to this day. Yes. So, um, with this, with your career, like, what, a, what does family mean to you? during like, all this man and, listen like, bro family is the most important thing that people forget other than time right and the time you spend with your family is more important than anything right um you know becoming you know who i am and doing what i do uh i have you know like i said i have six children a, a grandbaby um every day of my life man even though i don't see them every day even though i don't talk to them every day um, because of divorce and family issues and stuff like that, you know, yeah. um, I love them. I live my life for my family. Um, my dad used to tell me a long time ago, your last name means a lot. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that until I became grown. Right. I'm like, wow, that's what it means. You know, people see me and be like, ain't you Sergeant, you know, yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's my, that was, that was my dad. And it was because of, of who he was and how he carried himself to make me do the same. And my mm. boy's the same. He taught us little stuff like say yes, sir, say no, ma'am, say yes, ma'am, say no, ma'am. And you, you, you carry your name and that means more than anything. A lot of people don't understand that. And that comes from family. Right. It comes from being there for your family, you know. You said your pops was a sergeant, man. Man, wow. so yeah, he was a sergeant at the, uh, at the, uh, institution for, um, uh, Wisconsin corrections mm -hmm. correction facilities, a couple of facilities around the, around the state. Right. Um, but everywhere he got, he got respect. And we, you know, people used to walk up to him and be like, "Hey, Sergeant, how you doing?" He'd be like, "Hey, how are you?" And I'm like, "Dad, was that a prisoner?" He'd be like, "Yeah." I'm like, "You ain't scared?" He'd be like, "No, I respect them. Wow. They just made a mistake when they and they had to serve their time, and I was there to make sure they did their time the correct way." You know what I'm saying? Wow. So, so even though I'm doing what I do now, uh, still, you know, carry my dad name on my back man right. you know and that's about family yeah I, I heard you mention something about like you know getting older or whatever like what does that mean to you right now man getting older means a lot bro yeah. you know I, I we didn't lost a lot you know I, I lost my best friend terrell antonio clark he didn't even make it to 21 <laughs> um a couple of my partners um are, are you know dead and gone some of them still in, in prison you know what i'm saying yeah so you know when you when you um Understand that getting older means you you succeeded on not being incarcerated. Not saying that the people wow. incarcerated are, are, you know what I'm saying, beneath us or whatever. Not saying that at all. But when you make it through without going to the penitentiary or run out, you know, uh, passing away or, you know, dying for your hood, live for your hood. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That that that's something that that's something that that I was taught to do. A lot of people say, I'll die for you. No, I'm gonna live for you live for you not die for you i want to live for you so, yeah. so when it comes to little little things like that man i try to take it you know and, and and put it to my heart man and let people know that i really do care that's why when people come up and talk i don't care where you are whether you know i'm d-rock or whether you know um dude that work at, at at mps or whoever i still give you that love and respect because i expect it back from you right you know what i'm saying it's all about respect and honoring each other man Correct. Whoa, yes, sir. you kind of yes, you kind of scrambled my brain right there. Oh, man, <laughs> I forgot good, my next man. question. Off of. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, but yeah. um, so the comedy game is it's, it's almost like the music game. What do you not like about the uh, the comedy game right now? I hate right the now? business, man. I yeah. hate the business of the game. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Yeah. I like getting paid, but I hate talking about it. 
Yeah. I hate talking about it. People call you and say, man, how much you cost to come? I'm like, man, come on, bro. I, you know, that's why you got a manager to do that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that, and I, I don't like the business. I don't like the politics of the game. You know, if you funny, you funny. Right. You know, it's a bunch of times I've been to shows, man. I hate to say it, but I got to let the cag out the bag. <laughs> um, they tell you, hey, man, I don't need you to be funnier than the, than the headliner. What? You know, yeah, you got to bring it down a little bit, man. Don't, don't, don't talk about this. Don't do that. Don't do. And I'm like, come on, man. That's politics, though. Because who That's wants actual to be, dialogue, yeah, man. Are you oh, serious? That, oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. You get to a comedy club, man. They'll tell you in a minute. Hey, man, uh, you know we got such and such up, right? I'm like, yeah, what does that got to do with me? Okay, I need you to, you know, just, you know, don't, you know, don't steal the show. How do you write a semi funny joke? Bro? And and that's how it is. That's how it is. You they they tell and it and it mess. It used to used to mess with my psyche, you know, because I'm getting ready for a show and I'm getting ready to kill it, and then I'm like, oh, I can't kill it because dude on the show. Oh, okay, it kind of messes with your psyche, boss. Yeah, because what what happens is, say you kill the show, and you do better than the headliner. Headliner not gonna call you back. Oh, it's like man. taking a better. It's like taking a. It, I don't care what you do. Uh, you can be an engineer. You can be a. You can be a, a janitor, right? Yeah, yeah. And you bring you bring your cousin one day. Your cousin shine this floor better than you. Guess what? The boss gonna be like, hey man, let me, let me holler at your cousins real quick. You lost out on the job. Yeah, you lost out on the gig. So, so wow. you so you really gotta kind of. You know, ride the wave, man. And actually, you know, I don't step on toes. I don't go back doors. I don't do none of that stuff. I really just try to call people and say, hey, man, you need an opener. You need a good opener. Yeah. And then they'll give you rules and regs, boss. They'll tell you in a minute. Yeah, you can open for me. But, uh, you know, dog, don't do not do your cousin. Don't do your cousin joke, man, because that's a killer. You kill it oh, with that. Oh, man. So they, they, they headline, done did your research. They right. researched exactly. everything. Oh, exactly. Oh. Then they come back and they'll tell you. They'll be like, hey, man, you know, when you come back and headline, then you can do that. Right. But today, I need you to just do this, this, and this. I'll be like, all right, cool. And you done been in the business a minute, man. You done headline. Yeah, you, done, done you, done, you done did everything. So, hey, man, what you saying is law it's right now. It's still yeah. a struggle, bro. It's still a struggle. Wow. You, you know, even though being on Tubi, you know, one of the, one of the, I'm not going to say the first, one of the only comedians um, that's on Tubi. And a lot of people be like, what's Tubi? Tubi, let me explain that real quick. If yeah, you don't yeah, mind. We'll, we'll, we'll so do. Tubi, uh, they, they pay you according to your views. Um, Netflix pay you according to your status. So they'll pay you on Netflix right away. Mm -hmm. They'll pay you that, that bread right away on Netflix. Tubi, they want you to kind of prove yourself. So, that, and that's what the, that's what the. Um, that's the beauty in it. That, too, that, exactly. So. So being one of the first ones on Tubi from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, AKA Little Rock, Arkansas, Pine Bluff, right? Um, I think I should get a little bit more respect. Correct. But you don't. It's not about that. They be like, man, how many people follow you? I don't really want people following me. Right. I want I want you to go with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand yeah, on yeah. side of me. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Let's, yeah. let's see this journey together. Yeah. But they go by your followers. If you got a lot of followers, they'll put you on stage. But then they realize a lot of these people that got followers ain't that funny. Right. So let's put D Rock up there. Let's put D Rock up there because I know he gonna bring the funny. Yeah. But we gonna bring him because he gonna bring the tickets. Wow. So you gotta understand the game. You I see why you don't game, like talking man. about the game. So I don't uh, like talking about the game. But I mean, I I, I love comedy, man. I yeah. love being on stage. I love making people laugh. But when it comes down to the business, man, no, thank you, bro. I don't even want it. Wow. I don't want the business part. I need, you know, I got a business manager now that takes care of all my business. Anytime she call, you know, anytime they call her, they they you know, and then she'll call me and confirm, and I'll be like, cool. But when she's not available and I got to take those calls, I'll be like, oh, I don't want to deal yeah, with this. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm what you gonna charge me a thousand dollars yeah right, right oh man that's too much yeah talk to my okay, manager okay what do you need to, what do you want me to come for right you want me to come for a hundred but then I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the part of the game that i don't like too so the other part of the game people get you in a city for 250 bucks let's just get that round round up power right mm -hmm. but then you get there and it's and it's uh 400 people and they didn't charge ten dollars a piece that's four g's yeah so you giving me two hundred and fifty dollars out of four G's, and I'm finna make these people roll over laughing. Right. And you, all right, bro. Thanks. Nah, bro. Come on now. Let's get it going. Now yeah. you know why you booked me. Yeah. You called me. I didn't call to be on the show. Yeah. You called me for the and show. And that's what you said. Like so let's uh, let's come, be on side of me. Let's let's, let's do this together. Let's yeah. Do this together, bro. Yeah. So so when you so when you get that type of the game, that's what I don't like. Um. But, P but I had a lot of people call me and say, hey, D-Rock, hey, man, I need you to come down to Mississippi, man. We're going to pay you this. We're going to pay you this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Then we get there, 
and they didn't pay me all this money. And there's eight people in the audience. Wow. I'm like, dude, so then I feel bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah, like, yeah. bro, I need that bread, you know what I'm saying? But I see it's only eight people here. Yeah. So why don't we all take a picture? Let's yeah. go hang out, yeah. you know? But, yeah. You know, so it's, so it's a flip-flop situation. You got to have your business tight. That's why when people call me, man, I try to make it um, – comfortable for everybody try to make it fair for the business because i understand that but my job is to be on stage right you know what I'm saying? and people ain't buying tickets because it's just d-rock right they're buying tickets to come and enjoy come and laugh so, right yeah so case y'all sure just now tapping in man we with d-rock sure. y'all man we picking his brain trying to figure out what's up what's coming next <laughs> y'all stay tuned we're gonna take a little commercial for break sure. pay these bills you already know what time it best is. that's the best tv love it is Wine Crystal here with Best of the Best TV, where we interview entrepreneurs who've shown consistent dedication to their work. We assist others in marketing by exposing you on all successful platforms and your favorite podcast apps, as well as a special segment titled Artist of the Month, where we honor artists' achievements. Contact our host, Sir Quentin Gladney, by visiting bestofthebesttv.com or email 414liftoff at gmail.com today. Yo, yo, man, chopped it up behind the scenes with D-Rock, man. You know, we rocking with Best of the Best TV, man. So we picking the brain of D-Rock, man. Uh, case off. Case, is that how you case off? Yeah, yeah, just keep a smile on your face. Keep a smile on your face, keep man. Smile on your face, I, yeah. I love that. I need a shirt. You got it on the shirt, too. I got a shirt for yeah, you. Yeah, you okay. I got bet a shirt that, for bet you, that. For sure. So for you kind of sure. you smoothed over the fact that uh, your mentor, man. And like, like, how did that start? Like, uh, you. I mean, I, I had a lot of people guide me and, and, and being my mentor, but a lot of people always say, well, I started D-Rocking Comedy. I started D-Rocking Comedy. It actually started with uh, a name, a man named um, uh, Damon Williams. I was at a comedy spot. Um, it was called Saturdays. Mm -hmm. And the dude name was Eric Folks. Everybody know Baby Arm Eric. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> uh, he, he owns been been owning his own business for a minute. Uh, so I'm in the audience. Didn't know it at the time. I was heckling uh, Damon Williams, who hosted Apollo after uh, Steve Harvey. He hosted um, uh, Kings of Comedy before. Um, Steve Harvey. It's yeah, crazy. I yeah. just said Steve Harvey twice. Right. But he but Damon Williams, man, funny comedian, been doing this thing for a while. Um, I was heckling him, calling him George George Jefferson and told him his hairline was all the way back there. <laughs> he had a little bit of hair, now he bald. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. he was like, Hey man, and when he came on stage, he said, Hey man, he said, uh, not being disrespectful, man, but if you want to be a comic, man, you need to come to Chicago and uh I'll put you on stage. I'm like I ain't never really thought about it like that. I have been hosting shows and trying to DJ a little bit and do stuff like that, but I never thought about that. And I said, all right, man, I'll let you know. He said, all right, bet. So a couple of weeks later, he called me. No, I called him. He called me back. He's like, yeah, man, it's a place called All Jokes Aside. And I said, okay, okay. It's one off Wabash downtown, man. Come on through. So I get there, man, and I'm seeing all the people that I see on TV that's on Def Jam, that's on... And, it, and back then, Def Jam wasn't that huge. It wasn't big. It hadn't made HBO yet. Hold on. I'm going to pause. Remember where you at? Do you know uh -huh. how huge that is? Because he yes. could have been like, hey, man, like, don't do that during my set, exactly. man. Like, he like, chill up. But he didn't. Wow. He, he grabbed me, put me under his wing. That's why I still love that brother. Call him my big brother to this day. And I never disrespect him. I always make make sure I call him. And he owns a comedy club. Uh, he's a partial owner of the comedy club in Chicago, which is called, um, uh, dang, how did I forget? Uh, uh, Riddles, he he he's wow. uh he's a, he's a that's wonderful. huge. And, man. But but Damon man, like I said, anywhere I'm at, if it's big, Damon is there. I did my first cruise, uh, I did a comedy cruise. Didn't even know it was a competition, and Damon was one of the uh the host, and he was one of the uh the judges. Um, that's every, everything huge. Everything my everything that happened big in my career, I don't know why. Here come Damon. What? So Damon Williams. Damon. Damon Williams. <laughs> a lot of people be thinking it's, it's Damon Wayans. Yeah, no, no. I, we Damon know, I know Williams. who Damon Williams is. Yeah, yeah. Damon Williams from Chicago. Real funny cat. Always funny. Always respectful. My big bro. And he started a lot of these cats out that you see on TV yeah, now. Yeah, I've seen like a special you know, one. Yeah, like, like Lil Rail. Yeah. All them people, man. Uh, Corey Holcomb. Uh, D Ray Davis. Um, uh, all these comedians, man. They was Damon's. Peoples, they, they just kind of pushed them 
forward, but he's still doing comedy, still doing his thing, always booked, always working. So that was your launch. So, so you, that was he, my he, launch, he, man. He, he invited you to Chicago. He invited me to Chicago. And you so went. Jokes aside, I went and saw all the big you ones. You went, bro. All the artists, all the big ones. That. That's why I met Cheryl Underwood. That's why I met uh, uh, um, a lot of a lot of comedians. I don't want to start naming, but you know, Cedric Entertainer walked past. Here come, here come Bernie Mac. Here come, here come, you know, all the big names now. They doing comedy. I'm like, dude, is that Muhammad? Is that such such? So, um, sitting back watching them comedians, man, and then knowing that I can be as funny as those cats or with them, that's what I end up doing, man. So, wow, yeah, yeah and that, you, that was my and, big break. And what year was this, man? You man, man, ooh, you finna give me. Ooh, you finna give me <laughs> I'm, I'm alley oop to I a question. Say, yeah, I want to say ninety five, ninety six. Wow, man, shout out yeah, to David Williams. That's huge, 96, man. man. He, that, that was back then, man. Yeah. And he like, man, like you had the, the shit you probably the shit you said probably was. I know you. The shit you said was funny as hell. Uh, and, and, and it wasn't, and, and, it, and it probably was. I don't really know yeah. what I was saying. I just remember he him being funny, and I was like, oh man, I could be funny like this too. Yeah. So I'm like, what up, George Jefferson? You know, I said something. Right. He was like, hold on, bro. You know, let me finish my joke. So afterwards, man, like I said, he pulled me to the side. He pulled me to the and, side. Like, put me on the right road. So you've been in the game a, a, a long time, man. man like not, not it's not even enough. a long time, yeah, but like it's long so, but not long enough. You know so what I'm like saying? how you feel how you feeling about like like what's your dislikes and likes about like comedy and all that? Your <sighs> can't stands and man, listen, bro. Your love. I can't stand <laughs> when the people say little super stuff like I seen your little show. Oh I seen your little show on that's, Tubi. That's so disrespectful. I seen your little show. It's like dude, do you realize the the do you realize the sacrifices, you know what I'm saying, I've been yeah. through? I hate, I, I really dislike when, when when people try to degrade what you have done like they've done better. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, come on. Like, right. what have you done, bro? Right. You know what I'm right. saying? It gets to that point where you have to realize. And it's a win saying? for you. Like, it's, it's a, a win, win for me. All like, day yeah, for me, a, bro. Yeah. And, and a lot of people don't understand that it's disrespectful. Um, that's why when I meet certain comics, whether they hear or whether they hear, I always give them that that that, that respect because I hate when people come to you with that. You know, I seen your little, and I did your little. You yeah, know, it's like, come on, bro. Yeah, like you can't disrespect the game. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The, the, my 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 resume kind of speaks for itself. Bro, that was huge you know for me, bro. So, yeah. Seeing that, I'm scrolling. I'm like. Bro, that's D Rock, bro. That's crazy. Like, bro. That's crazy. I'm like, bro, on Tubi, like right. that's hey, D Rock. Hey, and how do you hey, say? Hey, like, yeah. how do you say? Like, I see in your love. That's that's hate. But yes. but and then they people and then people say, oh, that ain't. I wasn't hating, but it's just the way that they say certain mm -hmm, stuff. Yeah. Like they gonna watch your show and be like, yeah, I seen your little show, dude. This is huge. That's huge, the best, man. The best TV. Yeah, Come fact. on, man. <laughs> <laughs> what, what you doing, bro? Fact, you know what fact. I'm saying? It's like, it, it, and you and, and a lot of people don't understand, man, when you. When you get to the game and when you understand that, you know, I'm just as good or better than what you see, then come on, man, get that respect yeah, out. Yeah, you got to get that respect, Get that respect man. out, man. Yeah, when you see comedians- It's a blessing you, to even know you, to be even talking right. to me, man. man. <laughs> but, I mean, but it's a blessing for me to talk to them as well. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah. But you treat so, it as such, though, and, and man. You, yeah. And you have to. Yeah. You have to. I, you know, another dislike, when I see comedians that I look up to and I'm like, oh, that's what you about. <laughs> That part, you know, oh, what I'm saying? we're gonna like, leave that on the floor. We're gonna I, leave that I'm, there. I'm leave that alone. Yeah. I'm really trying not to talk about comedians I don't like, but yeah. Um, Kevin Hart, every time he see me, man, from the first time I met him to the last time I seen him, he always treat me like he remember, oh, even if he probably don't, oh, man. he treat me like he remember. So, when certain, certain comedians, yeah, when certain comedians act like they don't remember you, yeah. it's like, mm hmm. All right. Wow. You know, I don't say nothing, but I'd be like, okay, you know, it is what it is, you know. And then in certain cities you get to, you just sent them your resume, you just sent them your bio, you just sent them everything. You get there and then they spelled your name wrong. Then where the K at, bro? What? I, I thought it was ROC. No, it's ROCK, bro. Can you can you please make sure that happens? You know what I'm saying? It's just little stuff like that, man. How you that, spell rock wrong? Man, how you spell rock? I thought it was ROC. Why do you think that? You know, because rock up. No, bro. Come on, man. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? You got you got to get the whole time. Yeah. So so that little bit of the game, man. Uh, when when people try to try to man, you degrade for you, this, I, man. Like, yeah, they, you, they, they you, try you, to degrade yeah, you a yeah. little bit, man. Like, no, bro, give me that. Pro now, if it's done by accident, because I've been on many a stages, yeah. and I've said the wrong name, yeah. or I've or I've uh, mispronounced it or something. Mm -hmm. Totally understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get human that. error, man. But don't, yeah, but don't, don't. 
degrade nobody. That's Especially in the age of Google, man. And like, bro, like, all you gotta do is type. You could type in D dash R O. Like your name pop that, right up. It, thank you, bro. <laughs> thank you, man. And, I, and I've been trying to make sure that that's a good thing. The other part of that is a lot of people call you, man. Somebody got your name. You know how many people named Derek. You know how many people named Eric? You know how many people named, you know, Akivia? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's plenty of D-Rocks out here. You know how many I'm, best of the best is it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So so I'm D-Rock, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and and I am who I am. So when you meet me, hopefully I make it rememberable for you, just like I want you to make it rememberable for me. Right. I, I really don't remember a lot of people's names, but I remember your face. Right. And even if I don't, I'm going to be like, hold on, man, where I know you from? Right. And then let's go from there, you know what I'm saying? But the disrespect of, oh, man, I don't know, dude. Oh, let's do it. Get dude out of me. Hey, security, don't do me like that. Because you only got one time to do you me got, like You that. got those, man? Oh, man, come on, man. Oh, oh man. man. Some people get up here, they so big, and forgot that. Hold on, man. Oh, we, man. We, we were stuck in And we got some stories. He got some stories in his head. We got to oh, pick man. these. We got to get oh, these stories man, out of hell, man. You're you, you going to have people mad at me. <laughs> you have people mad at me, man. We've been at the same airport, bro, and you ain't had nothing to eat, bro. Oh, Stop they it, get bro. that sticky, so, man. I don't go there. Oh, man. Yeah, I think we didn't got stuck you in the places, man. We, we didn't went to places on the. You, the, you the fair niggas, man. You the fair niggas, bro. It's, <laughs> it, it, it's crazy because it, it's, 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 it's fun that that the real ones, the real comedians out there that really been grinding all this whole time, yeah. they know and they be like, dude, speaking real. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Ooh. And it's a couple of them act like they ain't never went through what we went through, man. But it was a lot of people. That we, you know, we got to them places, man. Fifty dollar deposit, mm -hmm. and you get there thinking you finna get a hundred, and yeah. and a hundred ain't there, uh, yeah. and you just spent that fifty, you broke. Oh uh, yeah, you tapped you out, broke, bro. So you gotta you gotta find out what you do. That's why when I always went to L.A., I always had a friend that was in L.A. So if this hotel didn't work, or if this didn't work out, yeah, I, always I go gotta to, like, yeah, yeah man. I, I, I gotta give a R.I.P. to to my boy Lamont Bentley, man. That was on Moesha. That uh, you know he played Hakeem on Moesha. Every time I went to L.A., that's who I called. And he Lamont was Bentley right there for it. was Every from time. Milwaukee, too, right? Yes, he's from Milwaukee, man. Duh, so, yeah. D-Rock, you so locked in. It don't make no sense. I try to. I try to, <laughs> man. But, but that's just being a good person. You got to understand being a good person. Right. And and, and that namesake is, is, is huge. Just like, that's like when I go out to L.A. now, man, I can call my boy um, PB Smiley right now. And if I'm in L.A., he'll come get me from the airport. Locked you got to have those type of connections yeah. wherever you go. Just treat people good, and you shouldn't have them problems. Right. Man. Wow, you know right. Wow, people! I'm yeah. learning. I'm learning. Yeah. So you, uh, uh, the longevity man is crazy, man. Yeah, bro. All right, let's take it all the way back, like childhood, oh, wow. man. Like childhood. Give me some childhood stories, man. Oh man. Give me some childhood. Listen, what are your man. most memorable childhood I'm, stories? Coming to Milwaukee, bro. <laughs> coming to Milwaukee, bro. I'm, I'm gonna try my best not to cry. I did not want to come to Milwaukee. I remember it, man. I just did not want to come to Milwaukee, man. It was just a different vibe. Um, being down from down south, man, everybody speak. Everybody say, what's up? And what's up just mean, what's up? How yeah, you doing? Yeah. Milwaukee, it meant, what's up? What you want to do? I'm oh, like, no, I'm not here to... Oh, I, why do I got to fight everywhere I go? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, 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 you know, and, and first moving in Apollo Village and, and, and a little bit of Hillside. And, and every time you turn around, you got to fight. I'm like, bro, come on, man. I went to... Uh, <laughs> I, it was crazy. I was waiting for my dad to get off work. And I remember this a lot of times. My mom be like, "Why you remember that?" Because um, it is what it is. I, I was I was at Seaford Elementary School, and if you know, Seaford is right there by the King Center. Okay. So my dad had to get off work and come get us, uh, come get me from uh, us, uh, Seaford. Mm -hmm. And I remember these dudes out there, man. They was like, "Yeah, we finna beat you up, man. You ain't from here." Whatever they were saying. And I put my, I remember my uncles and dad, you put your back up against the wall and just go, just fight. And I had my back up against that fence, man. I was ready to fight. My dad pulled up, was like, come on, come on. And they looked and they looked at that and I just, Jet hit yeah. my dad, get in the car like like right. that, rob the bank. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, ain't nobody pulling up. What y'all want with my son? What's wrong? What's the problem? And he was like, no, nah, man, you know, we, we, we ain't from around here. He said, yeah, he ain't gonna have no problem no more either. And don't let me pull up no more. What? And that was pretty much it. My dad didn't speed off, he just left. So the next day when I came to school, I had the respect. Yeah. Because a lot of those cats that was talking to me didn't have no dad. 
That's crazy. So, what that so, mean to you, like being a just, dad now, man? That, like that, I teach my boys. It ain't about being tough. Yeah, it about it's about communication. Correct. You can have people that don't like you all around the world, <sighs> but respect them, and they are gonna respect you. And if they don't respect you, guess what? Respect the fact that they don't respect you, and leave it alone. Hold you on, can't say that again. Jeez, that was respect, powerful. Respect the fact that they don't respect you, and just leave it alone. That's money, right? Because what you gonna do? I can't beat you to make you like me. Yeah. No, you just don't like me. I don't like you. How about that? And we good. I, I still love you, brother. I ain't even ain't even got to like you. I can just love you and move around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because can't nobody control me but me. If uh, if everybody understand that, if you watching this right now, understand you can't control nobody. You can, can uh, only control you. Yeah. And when you can't control you, that's why they put you in prison. That's why they put you in jail. Or... That's why you end up in the grave. Jeez. Respect yourself, man. And control yourself. That's it. You can't control Jeez. nothing else. Jeez, Real talk, man. Real Jeez, talk. man. I almost you forgot you was a comedian oh, today, man. nigga. You got something to say. Hey, man, for real. But yeah, a lot of people think they can control people. You can't yeah. control your girl. You can't control your kids. Yeah, you're the only you're right. person can control you. You can give them rules and regulations. They can break them or not. Yeah. That's their choice. Yeah. But at the end of the day, man, you can only control you. Right. That's... K Shaw just now <laughs> tapping in with D Rock, man. We we, ch we chilling with D Rock, man. We got our segment by my girl D, man. You, you fried my brain. Nah, <laughs> we got our good, segment man. by DJ <laughs> <laughs> uh, called Words, but we spin the wheel, man. And uh, you tell me what you think about this word. All right, cool, cool. Let's do it, man. Let's have fun with this. Let's do it. For sure, for sure. All right. You can't look, man. You got. Okay. You can't look until after you spin it. Okay. okay so All right, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Three spins. All right, what we got? I can't reach around my legs. I gotta look now. Yeah. Okay, let me see what the, what the word say. It says uh, relationships. Why? <laughs> Why is it? No. Uh, again, relationships the same thing. Man, I gotta go back to to uh, the only person you can control is you. Yeah. Um, you can be happy in a relationship. You can be sad in a relationship, but it starts with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, relationships. Ain't been my best quality. I'm be honest with you, man. I was, keep it at a thousand. I, man, I, I was married for 10 years, man. Got out. Yeah. Got out, man. We both got out. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people out there got life sentences. Uh, I'd be in my 10 years, 10 toes down. Uh, no, I'm just playing, man. It's, relationships is tricky, man. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you got to be happy with you. Mm -hmm. It starts with you. Once you're happy with you, then other things will follow through, man. But relationships is really tricky, man. It's, it's really one of the things that I'm, like I said, I'm not successful in. Right. You know, I'm trying, though. I'm yeah. still keep trying. Yeah. You know, but relationships are hard, bro. Yeah. It's hard. Especially when you 100% grounded in yourself. Oh, like, my man, goodness, listen, man. Uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Then you got to pick up somebody else's and their qualities and Ooh. what they like and what they don't like. And it, it gets it gets crazy. Yeah, that's a whole nother show crazy. for yeah, another yeah, day. Yeah, sir, <laughs> yes, and being a Sagittarius is really crazy because uh, we care too damn yep, much. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's our problem. We care too much and we talk too much. Well, yep. that's my problem, so long as I know it, but it's good. Yeah, yeah. It's good. All right, let's get that second speed. For sure, you. man. For sure. Might land on relationships again for I your ass. Not, <laughs> let's see what we are. Uh, let's say uh, fashion. Oh, it was crazy. Okay. So I, I am not a fashion guru at all. I used to be. Um, I remember the drips back in the day. Yeah, I used to be a fashion man. I yeah. used to want to rock D rock. I mean, rock Reeboks because it rhymed with D rock, and mm -hmm. and I want to wear the, the the latest Jordans and all that. But then, man, I had a house fire, bro. And uh, well, first, mm. I, first we had a, a flood. I had a flood when I was in St. Mary's, Georgia, with my aunt, and uh, and I, we I lost some of my stuff. And then I realized um, that it wasn't that important. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't that important. So I was I was cleaning my shoes every day and, and putting my – didn't want nothing on my shoes. And I was doing all this. And then we had a house fire, bro. And all of it meant nothing. Right. It didn't mean anything. So everything I was wearing was everybody gone. else. Yeah. And and, and, and the, the sweater that I played, man, everybody had a Gucci sweater back in the day. Mm. Coogee. Everybody had that Coogee sweater, right? That Coogee sweater that we paid – $85 back in the day, foe, wasn't worth nothing. Right. It's worth $5. You know what uh, I'm saying? When the yeah. insurance came and paid you, it was $5. So fashion to me Jeez. is cool, but understand if it's not your brand or if it's not somebody brand that you really like, uh, 
going after uh, and supporting, then you kind of missing the ball. We making everybody else rich, man. And at the end of the day, you done went broke. You done took your whole check and you done went and bought this and dude don't give a damn about don't you, bro. Me. But I still love me some J <laughs> some Jordans. Everybody gotta have them on their feet once in a while. Yeah. Still love me some Nike, still love me some Reebok. It yeah. just depends on and Adidas, it depends on what, you know, what what you're feeling at that time, man. I just think that we really gotta step back and realize that some of this stuff that we wearing. These people don't give a damn about you, right. man. I remember they was talking about Nautica. And a lot of people don't know that Nautica was worn by a, 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 a man that owned a boat. And he and he uh, was cleaning his boat with his gear on and called it Nautica. And then we bought it. And they hiked the price up. And we made him rich. What? Yeah, that's what Nautica was. So he was just like a boat cleaner. Like so, he yeah, he was just cleaning, cleaning his, his boat. boat. Wow! <laughs> you can look this up. You can Google this stuff, man. Wow. So it wasn't the boat they was fighting on. Was yeah, it? I, I'm not. talking <laughs> right through that. <laughs> but yeah, man, it, it's it, it's crazy, man. How you, how you, and but then the fashion designers they got more. You know, they, it depends on you know who you are and. You know, if you Beyonce and you got this and this is by Ralph Lauren, yeah. this is a mo you know, and then people go out and they buy this stuff and they they um you buy all this stuff for your kids, so you buy this stuff for yourself and you try to supplement that for love. And that's not really love, man. Yeah. We living in poverty and a lot of people don't know it because he got on the brand brand new pair of Jordans. Yeah. She's so yeah, I'm crazy on. Fashion. Yeah, you are, man. Hey, that, 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 yeah, hey, that, that fashion, fashion design. Hey, even when I go to fashion shows, man, I love it. I love seeing it. It's like, wow, that's neat. Oh, you look good in that. But at the end of the day, it's like, wow, did did it really mean anything? Yeah, it didn't mean nothing. Didn't mean nothing. Man. Wow. When we, when we leave here, then nobody care. A thousand Chinamen wouldn't care. Shout out to my brother. That's what you tell me all the time, man. A thousand Chinamen wouldn't give a damn. Damn. <laughs> Sorry, I'm y'all. using that. I'm using that one. I'm using that one. China, we'll yeah. Give it down, bro. yeah, let's get your third spin. Let's, let's get, get that third spin in, man. Jeez. D Rock ain't here frying my brain today, y'all. That's what the best TV.com. Crazy, it's a relationship again. So we're going to see. Oh, see, see, see. Oh, man, we're going to spin that. Get off the back. Get off the back. Where we at? Where we got? Let me see where we at. Say relationships again. So no way. Obviously, obviously the, the spirits won't be. No, wait, let me spin it for you. Let me spin it for you. You spin it. Spin the other one. If it lands relationship again, and I definitely gotta talk about it. Family. 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 Yeah. So the relationship with your family. Let's do that, man. Yeah, yeah uh, let's touch it like you, that. You you do, man. Listen, man. Family, y'all don't understand, man. When you got family, um, I'm not talking about blood family either. I'm not talking about just blood family. I'm talking about family that you grew up with. You know what I'm saying? Um, people that been through the struggle with you, uh, people that cry with you, people that hustle with you, uh, that's family. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got family, like I said, I got family that's locked up that I probably never see again. You know what I'm saying? I got family that that's dead and gone. I got family right next to me that don't talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That don't make them not family. We re we relate it. Right. You know what I'm saying? But the family is the ones that that's there for you, that's there when you down, when you depressed, when you're going through something person that call you and don't want nothing that's family bro and you really got to make sure you you know what i'm saying you and you got to be the other part of the family you got to be the one that make the phone call don't be the only one that trying to get this phone call work this phone work two ways yeah facts you know what i'm saying yeah a lot of people man you ain't called me you ain't called me either bro. yeah yeah you know yep. what I'm saying? Hey, you just messed me up when you said we related, but we not family. Man, that, I'm that's telling powerful, you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. When you when you start going down that family tree, man, how many people really call and say how do you, how you doing? How you really doing? And don't want nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't. You, you know what's crazy? I, 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 I was listening to somebody that said it, so these wasn't my words. I was listening to somebody that said it, and it made so much sense. If you get your taxes back and you got an extra thousand on your taxes, do you ever think about you know what? Let me call my auntie that probably ain't doing too good. Or let me call my little cousin that probably struggling with his two kids. Or, you know what I'm saying? We don't ever do that. No. We get our money and we we selfish with it. I'm not just talking about you. I'm not just talking about me. I'm talking about us. We selfish with it, man. And we, um, we don't realize that family needs you. And you know what I'm saying? We need to do better with that. Yeah. 
You know as family members, they they take it personal, but they they don't say nothing. They ain't nobody no, never gonna admit it. And and that and that part too, like yeah. when you when you going through something, man, call your family yeah. members, man, tell them I'm going through something, bro. I need some something. help. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and if you call me, I'm gonna try my best. Now I'm not telling you I'm gonna give you a hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm not telling you I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars. I'm not telling you I'm gonna give you a million dollars. I'm gonna give you some words of encouragement. I might give you some words of encouragement. I might send you twenty five on the yeah. hundred. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I yeah. might send you do what I can do on the thousand. You know what I'm saying? But if I got it, I got it. If I don't, I don't. Right. That don't make it, you know. You can always call me. We can always talk. Uh, we can figure it out together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, a lot of people always put it on, and it's not a money thing. Sometimes it's just a word of advice, man. It's love, it's Sometimes ain't vulnerability. That's man. right. Yeah. That's right. And a lot of people try to put it on their back and try to make it their problem, and it's not. Yeah. Um, Ice T, I got to give a big shout out to him, man. But Ice T say he say no a lot because no makes me not be responsible for what your situation is. So, so what's crazy? And like I said, this Ice T, it's not me. Yeah. Say that you got to go to the airport and you call me and say, D-Rock, man, I got to go to the airport. If I say no, that mean I can't, right? Yeah. But if I say yes, now that I say yes, I got to get up early. I got to get over here, get you ready. I mean, make you know, make sure you there on time. And if I don't do that, you're going to be mad as hell. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'd rather just say no and then see what your other options are. And then later on, I might say, hey, man, you still need a ride to the airport? I can do that for you. Wow. Don't take a no. Don't take a no all the time as you being disrespectful. Sometimes I just can't do it. Yep. And nine times, moment. I bet you nine times out of ten, they like, no, nah, I don't need you. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Ask people what they need nowadays. They yep. won't even tell you. They won't even know. Wow. They don't even know. Yeah. Wow. I'm not, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for a million dollars. Right. I'm not ready for a million dollars. I already know I'm not. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I, somebody might give me a million dollars. I might be broke next month. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I already got these ideas I got in my head. You know yep. what I'm saying? Not knowing that you you know you got to have financial stability. You got to know what you're doing, when you're doing, how you're doing it. So um, everything that comes to you, it comes with timing, man. Um, that's something that we spend more of and we, 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 we kill, we kill a lot of time, yep. but that's something we never get back. Did you notice that? Never Don't get, get time back. back, bro. Yep. You can get family members back. You can get a mother figure. You can get a father figure. You can get a, another wife, another husband. Yep. You can get, uh, you can get fake kids. You can get God kids and all this, Jeez. but you never get time back. That's yep. why prisons take prison. Whoever invented prison was crazy because yeah. they take you away from graduations they take you away from funerals they take you away from 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 uh weddings and happy things is happening with your life they take you away from all that because that's what we remember when you remember stuff you remember time you remember yep. dang that happened then that happened then you remember a song you remember something to take you back to that time and we just take time for granted man so yes, i thank you do. for taking your time for inviting man, me likewise here, man. man you in here, man. here man. man you putting thank it on me so i'm like man we, good, we work bro. together man i never sat down yes, to actually sir. like officially talk to you man well, you, thank you man, bro you got some man so that was the thank word you. segment man he got his three <laughs> spins brought to you by my girl dj man What's we got up, some more questions with d-rock man right after this commercial break for sure. yeah. The sunny season has arrived. With all the celebrations to come, fixing our crowns also means beating the heat. Are you a part of the men, women, and children in the Milwaukee area who are seeking a professional hairstylist, loctician, or braider? I'm now accepting new clients. Fine Wine Braids has relocated to the south side of Milwaukee. However, I'm still providing mobile services to punctual clients at an additional cost. Don't miss out on the great deals for your favorite hairstyles, such as $100 box braids and feed-ins for the month of April. The service two children get half off the price of one style promotion, as well as the very popular $20 off referral bonus. You can find me online on Facebook or Instagram at Find is Wine Crystal, and you can even look at some of my latest styles and prices on the Booksy app at twistedbyice88.booksy. Com. Yeah, yeah, man. Thanks for tuning back in, man. We with D Rock, man. man. Thank you for coming to the show again. No, man. thank you, bro. Man. Thanks for having me, man. bro. For real. This man, this is the best. this is a good interview. I love this interview, man. So, thank um, you got you you staying busy, man. So, like, where you see yourself in five years? Like, what do you see? Hopefully, not in? dead or broke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, on somebody's stage, right on real. Wood. Um, uh, hopefully, man. I, 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 hopefully, in five years, man, I'll be five years uh, uh, more advanced than what I am now. Um, 
far as health wise, far as financially and the whole nine, I really want to be that comedian. I don't want to, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to be Kevin Hart, uh, celebrity wise famous. Yeah. I do not want to be that. Right. I want to be able to sit down and eat my meal. Somebody probably recognize me or not. Yeah. And that's cool. You know yeah. yeah, yeah. I want to be able to get enough money. Not too much <laughs> too money. Too much money. That make man. me Kanye crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be Kanye crazy. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be. I, I hey, is that an actual now. term, man? Or did hey, you just make it up right now? Hey, if it ain't, it, everybody know it. Everybody yeah, know it. Yeah. You get Kanye crazy. You right. know what I'm saying? He got so much money, he crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to be the Jay Z crazy. I don't want to be the uh, looking all in over before your... I come in. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to be looking over my shoulder. Yeah. Do I, I got to? Do I, am I supposed to sign this uh, autograph or not? Like that's, that's right. Like, yeah. I, I want to be able to sign anything. Yeah. I want to be able to talk to anybody. Correct. So I don't want that celebrity wise, but I do want my talent to uh be my new um my new job right right, that, right that's that's one of my things i'm focused on in the next five years and uh have somebody have something to fall back on and that's my retirement from my regular job Absolutely. so i want to be retired i want to be doing what i i love to do and that's being on and off stages um and you know hopefully doing more movies which i've done some movies before right you know and hopefully you know another special or two um, but I'm getting to the point now, man, where I'm like, you know, I, I love keep a smile on your face. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But it's getting to the point where like, ain't nothing funny no more. Mm. So I, I, I'm going to just leave that out there. Yeah. Bro. Leave that on the flow, yeah, man. So who, who you see yourself working with in the industry, right? Anybody, now? man. Yeah. I work with any and everybody. Yeah. Man. I That's, dope. That's dope. That's yeah, dope. I, I like love, that answer. I, I can't, I can't wait to, uh, I can't work, wait to work with Kevin, Kevin Hart. I can't wait, to, wait to work with, uh, it's always been a dream of mine. To have Denzel as my my uh, grandfather, right? I always wanted that dream. I don't know why. Whoa! I guess because I think I'm sexy. No, I'm just playing. Uh, yeah, like actually, Denzel as yep. my granddad, telling me some 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 knowledge. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's something I always wanted. Um, other than that, man, but I I would work with anybody, man. If it, if it makes sense, if it's fun, I'll do it, man. I, I really don't like doing stuff where I gotta. And that's why I love Dave Chappelle. That's why he's in my top ten. I, I'm putting on a dress or lipstick. That's makeup. That. <laughs> Negatory. I'm not doing nothing. That, you know what I'm saying? Playing my gay cousin. I don't know. I, you know, I, I be laughing with Marlon, <laughs> my boy Marlon Hill, one, one of my dudes. He said, "Man, you do that a little bit too, too good." I'm like, "Man, watching my cousin, you gotta know it." You know what I'm saying? But I never. I, I, I don't want to degrade anybody. Yeah. Um, I don't want to be that type of person. I want to be right. able to. Make people laugh within the spirit of laughter, you know, not not uh, laughing at somebody. Right. I say it all the time. I don't want to be a clown. I'm a hey, if you available, you know, best of the best. We working on a on a comedy. Uh, Put me in you, it. We got We Give need you as the host. Give we me need a part. You. Okay, Give me a part. We gonna go. make sure. Yeah, let's make it happen, bro. Yeah. I mean, even even with some of the some of the Milwaukee, Detroit, Chicago, uh, Netflix or uh, 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 Tubi uh, movies, I tell people, man, call me. Let's yeah, make facts. something happen, bro. Facts. It ain't got to be huge. It ain't got to be small. Let's just make it happen. I got to hit up Hollywood. We can make that happen. Let's like, do it. Oh, man, Let's that's green light. So it, it any up and coming projects? Yes. So so I got to I, I got, I put, put a little bit of disclaimer out there. <laughs> it's, it, I'm getting ready to do it. I'm getting, uh, getting ready to do a, a couple show. Uh, I can't tell you no more Woo! about that. I'll be hosting a, a show. It's going to be called The Couples Show, and it's about couples and stuff like that. We'll talk about it. It's about bringing people more into uh, into their relationship and into each other. Right. Uh, and it's not just about black love. Man, you got all the tools up there, too, yeah, bro. Yeah, well, we just thing, heard. Yeah, trying man. To, trying to. And it's yeah. not about black love. It's not about white love. It's just about love. Bro. Correct. So uh, I'm, I'm working on that. Also, I'm working on a tour. Um, um, I'm doing spot dates right now with Tommy Davidson, who uh, I'll be starting in Chicago. Doing a bunch of that. He also, plug, y'all. I'm trying, bro. <laughs> and I'm also writing uh, my next uh, special. I don't know if it's gonna be on Tubi. I don't know if it's gonna be on Netflix. I don't know if it's gonna be on Hulu. I don't know if it's gonna be on my mama's TV. Let's just see. It's I gonna, just gonna be know. everywhere. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, everywhere. be somewhere, yeah, man. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm working on that. And then I'm working on after that. The, my biggest project that I'm working on is is going out and seeing uh, comics that um, that I like, and, mm -hmm. and I want to help them come through the grind. Uh, and be a producer. I want to produce comedy. That's shows, beautiful because you know? that, that leads to my next question. Uh, mm -hmm. What type of uh, training would you recommend for like up and coming producer uh, comedians? Yeah, on stage, on stage, yeah. on stage. You got to be on stage, man. Anytime it's open mic, 
get on stage. If it's a if it's a talent show, get on stage. You got to practice your craft in front of people that's going to tell you whether you're funny or not. Right. Don't get me wrong. I ain't got nothing against the internet comedians. I ain't got nothing against people that's that's on TV and trying to make it funny or whatever. But if you're trying to be a stand-up comedian, you got to get on stage and stand up and tell your joke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to see if your joke is funny and make it sure it's your joke. And if it's not your joke, Give credit to the person who joke you heard it from. Yeah. That, that's that's the bigger thing. That's what Michael Collier always taught me. He always taught me, if you use somebody else's joke, let them know where you got it from. Right. You can still be funny with yeah. or without it, yeah. let them know where you got that yeah, joke the from. Yeah, the crowd going to laugh anyway. They're going to laugh anyway. Yeah. And just say, hey, man, that was from Michael Collier. Yeah. That was from, you know, whoever, yeah. whoever. You know what I'm saying? They ain't here no more. You can still pick, make people laugh on it. Yeah. That's Michael Collier thing. Yeah. And, and why not do that? So, um that's my biggest thing getting out understanding what comedy is and, and if you want to be a comic know what it is right don't just think you know what it is right N really know what it is go back and figure out do your history and find out who's your favorite comic follow them find out why are they funny how are they funny don't just google them and look at the first top 10 right. go way back man yep. go way back and that's what i did man yeah. i studied comedy for a while so you i know said, what did the gay cow eat <laughs> I was on the floor laughing so hard. That's real talk, bro. All right, man. So we 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 locked in with D Rock, man. Give me give me your last fifty shout outs, man. man. Shout out to everybody, man. If you support me, I support you. I love you. Go, please go to my website, y'all, www.kasoyf.com. That's keep a smile on your face on all platforms. That's Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. That somebody told me I had to get a TikTok page. Wow. So it's all on the K-A-S-O-Y-F. A shout out to everybody, man. My family in and out of town, Pine Bluff, Little Rock, Ohio, everywhere, man. I got family all around this country. Happy, happy family day to y'all. That's what I like to say. Anytime you see me, please support uh, what I do, and that's keep a smile on people's face, man. I love you. I love it, man. So Thank you, bro. I think I'm all out of questions, man. Hey, man, like, yeah. man I, I stay here till tomorrow, but I can't. <laughs> people that's watching want to go out and see the best of the best TV shows. Yes, show, sir. Man. So yes, thank sir, you so much, man. For thank, me, thank you for your time, man. Seriously, brother. Thank yeah, it's best of the best TV.com, man. Y'all make sure y'all stay locked in. We do got some stuff on the flow. We got a singer songwriters competition coming up. It should be dropping in September. Y'all stay tuned for that on best of the best TV.com. Man, we rocking out with your boy. Boy, D Rock, man, funniest man alive, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Should hey, we say Mississippi hey, Zone then? Huh? Should we say Mississippi we Zone? We say whoever's on. Oh, let's say whoever's on. Arkansas <laughs> <laughs> on and those Little Rock on. Just matter, say D Rock man. and make sure you spell it right. Bro, you got that. Talk, but yeah, you already talk. know what time it is. Your boy, Sir Quinn, with Best of the Best TV. And you already know. Shh. Shut up and hustle. Wow. Yeah.